Purchasing a home may be the largest investment you make during your lifetime. Your home septic system is a significant part of your investment. Failure to care for it properly may cause thousands of dollars in repair costs, not to mention headaches and inconvenience. This video is designed to help you understand your home septic system and how the system functions. Let's get started. A basic septic system has two main components, a septic tank and a drain field, or a similar absorption system. The septic tank is usually a large concrete box buried beneath the ground surface. The tank usually has two lids on top so the material can be pumped out periodically. The tank also has holes at both ends so wastewater can flow in and out. Wastewater from the hone flows into the septic tank and solids collect at the bottom. Liquids flow out the other end of the septic tank and travel to the drain field. The drain field is a large underground network of drain pipe and rock. Liquid wastewater slowly trickles out through the holes in the drain pipe, into the drain rock, and eventually into the underlying soil. Microbes in the drain field break down the organic matter and the treatment of the waste is completed. Now that we have covered the basics on how a septic system functions, let's move on to how to properly maintain your system. Follow these guidelines. Have your septic tank pumped every three to five years. Find a septic pumper by looking up septic in the yellow pages or by contacting the Benton Franklin Health District. The expense of pumping your tank is minimal compared to the cost of thousands of dollars to repair it should it fail. The septic pumper will ask you to locate your septic tank. If you cannot find it, contact the Benton Franklin Health District at 509-460-4200. The health district may have a septic map or an as-built of your property that shows where your septic tank and drain field are located. The septic tank is typically shown as a rectangle with two circles and the drain field as a series of lines. More recent septic maps will also show where the reserve drain field is located. Most drain fields will eventually fail so it is critical to set aside a place for a reserve drain field. Do not construct anything over the reserve drain field. Some systems may also have a pump, a pump chamber, and an electronic control system. These components should have routine maintenance as well. It is critical to protect your drain field. Never drive over or park cars on the drain field. If you do not know where your drain field is located, contact the health district. Never construct any impervious structure over any part of your septic system. Impervious structures include things such as driveways, patios, garages, or shops. Drain lines should maintain a minimum setback of 10 feet from any pervious surface or structures. Septic tanks should maintain a minimum setback of 5 feet from any impervious surfaces or structures. As an owner of a septic system, you should avoid the following. Do not overwater your lawn. If your lawn has standing puddles of water after you irrigate, you could be watering too much, causing your drain field to fill with water. Also, avoid planting large trees over the septic system. The water-loving roots of the tree will eventually seek out and destroy the drain field. You should also avoid washing dishes and doing laundry at the same time. Try to spread out laundry throughout the week. Keep shower short or install water-reducing shower heads. Fix toilets that are constantly running and repair leaky faucets. All of these situations cause a drain field to fill up with water, making it function improperly. In addition, avoid washing oil and grease down the drain and don't overuse your garbage disposal. You should also avoid flushing the following items. Don't flush personal products, dental floss, facial tissue, cotton swabs, or similar objects. They will not break down rapidly and may cause problems in the septic system. Also avoid flushing hazardous chemicals and unwanted medications. Last, septic additives are not required for the proper function of your system. You should check periodically for signs that your septic system may be failing. Look for the pooling of water around your drain field or around your septic tank. In addition, toilets, sinks, and bathtubs might actually back up if your septic system is failing. You may also hear gurgling noises when flushing or doing the laundry. Remember, your septic system is a significant investment. If you maintain it properly and avoid damaging the drain field, it should function properly for many years. 
If you have any other questions regarding your septic system, call the Benton Franklin Health District at 509-460-4200. Thank you.